tapes tech stuff and today I'm going to be showing how to back up all your data before you install a ROM on your device. So to do this you'll need to be rooted. I made a video showing how to root your device. The link for the video will be in the description. So yeah let's get started. So here is the Nexus 5. You can do this on all any phone that's rooted but I'm going to be showing it on the Nexus 5. So the app that you'll need is called Titanium Backup. The link of it will be in the description. So this is the app. And see, you'll need to be rooted because it asks for root permission. So just click Grant and it'll check. And then once it says first start, welcome. Before using Titanium Backup, please read the disclaimer. Hit the menu, help and support. And so just click OK. And then I'll show you the change log. Just hit OK. And your system settings may cause problems to correct this. Go to your phone set settings, then in applications, then in development, and tick the USB debugging checkbox. So if you guys get this warning, I'll show you how to fix it. Just go to settings, scroll down to about phone and tap build number seven times if you're not a developer if you're already a developer then just go to um, developer options and just check usb debugging click ok and that's it then you just go to the titanium backup and then you just click backup and restore and just click dismiss over here you can back up each app you can select each app and backup or if you want to back up everything, just click back up all user apps, back up all system data, back up all user apps plus system data, or back up new user apps. And then if you want to restore, you just go to restore and click restore. So I'll be backing up all user apps. So do click run and everything will be selected. If you want to, if you don't want to back up some app, you just need to select it or dis unselect it. So I'm just going to be backing up everything and click or you can click select all it's already selected so just click the check and you should start backing up so I'll forward this and then when it's done backing up I'll show you what it looked like Okay, so now all the apps are backed up and you'll see next to all the apps, it says that the user apps, all of them will say one backup. So now all your apps are backed up. If you guys want to back up the system apps, you guys can select that in here. But most of the system data won't work on the a different ROM. So I don't think it's a good idea to back them up, but you can if you want. Okay, so that's one way of backing that up, but that only backs up all your apps. The rest of the data, like photos and videos and stuff, you can back that up in the recovery. So I'm going to show you that method too. So you'll need a custom recovery. I made a video showing how to flash one on the Nexus 5, so you guys can watch that. It'll be in the description. And if you have a different phone, you guys can just watch a video. But obviously, if you're changing the ROM, you'll need a custom recovery. So make sure you have that. So yeah, let's boot into the custom recovery. So just power off the device. Okay, so when you turn on the device, you'll have to hold the volume down and the power button on the Nexus 5. It might be different from your for your phone, but this is how you do it on this phone. So yeah, you come into this menu. There's a fast boot mode. So you just scroll down to recovery mode and hit the power button. And you should go into the recovery. I have clockwork mod recovery on here. You can have a different recovery, but you just need to back up. So you just scroll down to backup and back up to SD card. If you want to um, restore, you just click restore from SD card. Or if you already have a backup, you can delete that backup. I have no backups right now. So I'll just click backup to SD card. 
and this will take some time. It'll show you how much free space you have. This takes a lot of memory because it backs up your whole system. So if you something goes wrong with the app, with the ROM, you can just restore it from the recovery. So this is basically a complete backup of your whole system and everything. So this takes more memory and it might take longer. So I'll just forward this part. Okay guys, so the backup is done and it says backup complete. So now if I want, I can just restore from backup. This has the, see this is the date and that's the backup. So if you guys want to restore, you can just restore. But this uses a lot of data because this is a complete backup. It's like you turn off your device and just turn it back on. You can install as many ROMs as you want. Once you restore, it'll be exactly like it was before. So I'll just go back. And now I'll show you once the ROM is installed, once I install a ROM, I'll show you how to restore the data from Titanium Backup. If you guys want to restore from this, if you want to go back, you guys just have to come to Backup and Restore and Restore. So I'll show you how to do it with Titanium Backup once the ROM is installed. Okay, okay guys, so now I installed a ROM on the phone, <clears throat> the same phone. And if I go to Settings, you can see it has a ROM on it. Paranoid Android. So let me show you how you restore all your apps now. So I install Titanium Backup again, and as you can see, I have no apps other than the stock Google ones. So let's go to Titanium Backup, and okay, let me try that again. Okay, so that's root. You just remember this choice forever. allow and it should work okay okay and the same thing came again so this time you have to enable unknown sources so let's just go to settings okay, go to security and you can scroll down to unknown sources and just check that click OK and then you have to go scroll down you have to go to about phone keep tapping build number the same way you enabled it before you just have to enable the developer settings once you go there you just have to check usb debugging it's already checked so you just go back to the app and click ok and click ok if you get this message go to backup restore dismiss and just click this thing and just restore all your backup restore missing apps with data restore all apps with data you can do either one of them i'm gonna do the first one okay so everything's checked make sure everything's checked and all these apps will be restored so if you just want the app you just click app if you want the data also all the saved data on the apps for example games all your data from the games everything so you just everything is checked Make sure and you just click this check and you'll have to keep on clicking and install each time every app uh, it'll ask so you just click accept and now every app is going to keep asking so just hit done and it'll ask, do that for each app so I'll forward this where I'll show you exactly what happens Okay guys, so now the backup is complete. You should get this notification, batch restore finished. 
So that means everything is restored. So now you can just go to your home screen. And if you go, you can check all your apps should be back. And all of their data should be there too. So if I go to any app, it should have all my data. Everything should already be set up. So that your phone is exa exactly like it was before. All your apps are exactly like they were. It's just you have a completely new setup. So thank you guys for watching. This is how to restore your, this is how to backup and then restore all your data on the Nexus 5 or any Android device. So thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions or anything. Just leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching.